Hey, what's what's going on, you guys? Today I got a, a special guest, a brother. Um, if you want to introduce yourself, we, he's gonna give a quick his, his testimony. It's a powerful one. It's his life, and I want his story to be heard, and I want him to to let the people at home know uh, what's really going on. So, if you can introduce yourself and let them know about yourself, man. All right, how you guys doing? My name is uh, Jonathan Dunn, and I just want to share a little bit of my story. Well, first of all, I'm here today to do a little routine with uh, Moses Cuevas. Uh, yeah. I reached out to him not too long ago, and we're here today. Um, so let's start with uh, my name. Like I said, Jonathan Dunn. Um, I've been a diabetic since I was a little kid. I'm currently going through uh, dialysis, and I got my my toes emptied on one of on one of my my feet, right? And I, my message to people out there is just to uh, pretty much. If you guys are going through something I'm going through and you guys feel like there's no way out, you guys feel depressed about it or whatever, like you guys got purpose in life. I got a purpose in my life and I'm here trying to reach out to people that we can help one another and um, pretty much just move forward. If you have something vision in your head, go for it. Shoot for it. Nothing, nothing can stop you. Pretty Definitely. much. I have three kids myself. Um, I once was married. And I lost my mom two years ago as well, and everything impacted me kind of hard. But just to tell you guys that don't give up on yourselves. Don't ever give up on yourselves. You know, and I'm a believer in God. So Amen. also, here's another thing. If you ever feel down, just make a prayer to him and, and believe what's going to happen and, and keep moving forward. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, Jonathan, how did you grow up? How was your childhood? Uh, if you can give me, a, if you can give us a quick glimpse of how your how you grew up, uh, your childhood, how was it? Well, uh, my family, well, I'm a big family, first of all. Uh, my background, uh, my parents are from Ecuador. And I have Equ a Ecuador in Ecuador. the house, okay. That's right. And um, I'm a fraternal twin brother. I have 10 siblings. I have six sisters and four brothers. Um, and pretty much, well, my background, my life, my childhood was fairly, fairly good, other than uh, the fact that I was sick since I was little. And I thought I wasn't gonna be here for the rest of my life, but I thank God I'm still here. And like I said, well, there's challenges in life, but you gotta keep pushing forward. So you that, you've had this condition since you were a kid. Since I was a kid, that's right. Damn. Yeah. And you're still going. And I'm still going. And man. people are out there right now complaining, and they got a good life. Yeah. Oh man, that's a damn shame. Like I'm I'm sitting here thinking about like, man, I appreciate you just you know. Well, if you don't, okay, so. How was your teenage years as a kid? How how how'd you do as a, a teenager? Did you play sports? Did you what were, were you out there running the mug? Were you at with the family? Well, or? I'm not, look, I'm not uh, I'm not a bad person. Uh, I've never I've never been in gangs or anything like that. Okay. I do have an older brother, and I'm actually thankful for his life because he was a he was a gang member and all that stuff. He actually did many years, and but because of him, like me and my brother, we didn't we didn't join any 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 of that bad bad stuff, right? Right. And I'm thankful for him. Um, I learned from all my brothers and sisters and what they they've lived. They're a lot older than me. Yeah. But my life, like I said, uh, thank God, I've been uh, I've been around. I've still been here. How were how were how how were you in school? How was your grades and all that? I was a C average student. Okay. I'm not I'm not gonna say I was the smartest did, or anything like that. It's all good. Yeah. But, Graduate uh, high school. I did. Graduate That's all high that school. matters. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I, I was like I was telling Moses earlier, and I do have a real estate license Talent. i didn't think i could ever achieve that right and um, i actually got it two years ago and i'm planning to use it in the future hell yeah um so now in in this point of your life you said you have kids you want to shout out your kids real quick yeah What's i'm gonna shout out to my eldest son jason isaac dunn my little girl who's four years old her name's isabel and my last one which is junior so jonathan that's right um how was having your kids like, man? It was because I got I got two kids of my own, yeah. boy and a girl, and you know that it, it changed my life. It, it took some time. It pumped my brakes from from being a knucklehead, but it, it was a ble like blessings, you know. Um, how how do how do you feel about having your kids or? Well, definitely when I first had my kid, uh, it changed me because at that time when I was younger, I was 21 when I first had my kid, my first son. Um, my mind was completely you know still thinking of doing like what young people do right right but i had to grow up at that time and and they're blessings they're blessings because regardless of what i've been through in my life uh i always 
seeing them, that they need their father, and I'm gonna be here for them regardless. That's right, that's right. So today, I mean, you reached out, we, we've talked, and I appreciate you coming out today, man, definitely, and you're representing uh, for, for a big cause in my eyes, and I think it's a, a poisonous way of thinking uh, for people that are vulnerable and they, and they feel like they can't do nothing with themselves, you know, but you're representing the opposite. You there may be, you may have a condition, but that don't mean nothing. You can keep going. Uh, what is your message to anybody that has a condition or whatever it may be, whether it's mental, physically, uh, what is your message and what are you trying to accomplish with your story and your life to this day? So what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to reach out to people that, that feel you guys may have conditions like me, even worse possibly, but you can always do something, you know, with your life. If you find that exercise is a, is a way out to get from all this, uh, whatever you're going through, use it. Use it as a, as a tool to build yourself up and, and just a message because I don't, I don't like to see people that I've been through, man. I've been depressed for a while and I got out of it. I mean, I, like I said, I thank God for that for one. And then your mind has to be a lot stronger. What, what got you out of it, Jonathan, if you don't mind me asking? Just believing in the Lord and then having that mindset that I tell myself I'm not a punk or nothing like that. I'm right. going gonna to move forward. I'm keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep you know? fighting. That's right. Just keep doing it. That's right. You don't you don't stop fighting until you, the day that you die, pretty That's much. That's right. You just got to keep fighting. If I'll, We'll leave it right here. I'll ask you two questions. First one will be, if there's a kid right now, whether it's boy or girl, male, female, even if they're an adult, if if they're at rock bottom right now, contemplating committing suicide or or whatever it may be, hard times for them right now, is there any advice you can give to that person right now as we speak? Because well, best believe my, they're watching. Yeah, well, my advice would be to, to the little kids. I mean, if you do have family members that you're really connected to, uh, reach out to them. And it doesn't hurt to reach out to them and, and tell them that you need help. For one, if you have, like, me, for example, I have my brother. I do have some sisters that I would reach out to. And just to have that conversation and let whatever is in my chest, just let it out. Another thing would be, if you believe in the Lord, I believe in the Lord. I, I pray to Him and just believe in, and ask Him for help. Amen. Pretty much. Yeah, man. Uh, last question. Uh, we're going we're gonna to switch it. This is for the young kids or even adults male or female say they they want to they want to be an astronaut they want to be a singer uh, an athlete whatever it may be an entrepreneur a real estate owner whatever it is what's the advice you can give to them that are that have many goals and ambitions like what what can you tell them well first of all the fact that you have many goals and ambitions that's beauty right there right and don't let anybody take that from you you know, keep it in your head and, and go for it. Definitely. Just shoot for the stars. And, and definitely never give up, man. Just like Jonathan, he's a, he's a pure example. And he's in his boot today. And he's going to work out. And he's yeah. going to get it with me. So that's coming soon, you guys. I appreciate you, brother. You got one, anything anything you want to say to the world? Nah, man. Just uh, keep your head up and keep fighting, man. Until until the day you die. There's, there's no reason to, to stop fighting. Amen. Take care of yourself. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you.